Finding the standard deviation, mean, and other measures with the TI-84 calculator is so easy when you've got frequencies in your data table. Here's how to do it. The first thing that I want to do is to go into my stat menu. I'm going to enter this data. So I hit stat. I do want edit. So I'm going to hit enter to choose edit. I've got data already in here. You might not, but because I do, I'm going to arrow up to the list name and then I'm going to hit clear and enter. Don't do delete. So we're going to hit clear followed by enter. Now I'm ready to enter my data. So I'm just going to enter my data, the ages 18, 19, and 20, and then my frequencies. So I've got five of the first group, three of the second group, and seven of the third group. Now let's go find some statistics. I'm going to quit here. So second followed by quit. Let's go back into the stat menu so we can run one variable statistics. I click stat. This time I arrow over to choose the calc menu. I do want one variable statistics, so I'm going to hit enter here. My age was in list one, that's my data, so I'm going to leave this as L1. I'm going to arrow down and I'm going to choose L2. To get to L2, I'm going to do second followed by the number two. So you can change the lists here by just doing second followed by the number of lists where your data lives. Now I've got this how I want it, so I hit calculate and then I've got all of my measures here. Up at the top, I've got my mean as X bar, also my weighted mean. A couple of measures down from that, I've got my standard deviations, S for the sample, sigma for the population, and if I use my down arrow to scroll further, I get even more measures than that. Watch this next video here to learn more about stats and your calculator. Thank you so much for watching.